So this is actually one of the first videos that I came up with when I decided to start making videos again. But it's basically a video about why I decided to get into studying full stack web development. For the last 18 months or so, I've been really interested in web development, uh, front end development, more so than back end. But I kind of started the self learning process using Code Academy. I did their HTML courses and their CSS courses. I kind of started on their JavaScript course, but as it kind of went by, I didn't really feel there was much structure to it. I didn't really feel that there was much of a guide on or a suggestion of what to do next. Something I did learn in the time that I was doing those courses on Code Academy is that yeah, I learned that I really loved it. I really loved the subject material. I really loved the problem solving aspect of it. And it was really cool to type some commands into a computer and see the output immediately. So doing those Code Academy courses for me was a really good introduction and it was a really good way to sort of like dip your toes in the water. And it taught me something really important about myself is that if you have a passion for doing something, you need to see it through. It might not happen overnight. It might not happen, you know, next week or next year. But eventually, if you have a passion for something and you seek to get better in it, then you will. I went down the route of studying at a college here in Israel, there's a college called John Bryce. It's a sort of a professional development. I'd say, I, you know, easiest way to compare it is it's like a technical college. But I felt for me that was the best way to do it because it gave a bit of structure. You know, every lesson has a syllabus. Um, you get in, we're studying this today. This is our course for this month. It's a lot more structured and I feel it gives a lot more meaning to the studies, but I didn't have any of that background in programming, in object-oriented programming, in a, what does a function do? I had no idea what that was. And Code Academy, I didn't really felt went over that enough. So that's kind of why I went down the more traditional route, I'd say, and sitting in a classroom and learning it from a teacher. So there's another awesome resource that I did find along the way that's actually really helped me out with understanding JavaScript and understanding programming more as a conceptual subject and it's a book called eloquent javascript i've put the link in the description below if you want to go and download it it's free it's got online exercises and it's a really good supplement i feel to my studies but if you just want to start learning javascript by yourself it's a great tool so the course i'm doing is about nine months in total i'm about halfway through now i've just got to the point where we've kind of technically just finished front end we just started learning node.js which is for me a complete new new realm uh, so it's a bit scary it's a bit scary going into something new that you don't really know or have never had any experience using but it's also kind of cool knowing that ticking off another technology getting a new technology under my belt and i'm learning something brand new but obviously the idea of the course is to get you enough skills to get you straight into industry and start kind of learning on the job. So towards the end of the course, I'm kind of at a bit of a crossroads. And this is kind of where I'd like want to ask a bit of advice is that do I go the startup or like corporate route? If anyone out there is a web developer or is a junior or is a senior and has any advice, then I'd really love to hear it. And if you write a comment or maybe link me to a video talking about the subject, that would be great. 